Hey guys, happy Father's Day. Hope you're having a great Sunday. I am making some chicken wings out here on the smoker and I figured I'd have a little bit of a conversation with you about some of the events that just happened. So it all started on the 8th where we were prepping up for WNC Jeep Fest 2022. Um, all day Friday we were there, all day Saturday we were there, and we had a great time going to the uh, the opening party, the, the closing party, meeting all of you, and thank you again to all of the new subscribers to this channel. Uh, if you are not following or subscribed to the Jeep and Bubba channel, make sure you go and do that. He just released a really great recap of his day at WNC Jeep Fest. Now, the Thursday after that weekend, I decided to restart the Beers and Gears event, which is essentially a Jeep night where we try one of the breweries here in Asheville, uh, a different one, every single month on the third Thursday. So we had a lot of people come out um, to, to Burning, Bl uh, Burning Blush Brewery. It's really hard for me to say for whatever reason. Um, anyway, we had a really great time. A lot of people showed up and uh, we're looking forward to the next one in July. Um, after that, started this weekend on Saturday was Riggs and Coffee. Now Riggs and Coffee is a national event so if you go to RiggsCoffee.org you can look it up and see if it's in your area. Uh, for me in Asheville it happens every third Saturday at 10 a.m. until noon. Uh, that's when the brewery opens up. I think they might even open at 11. So you can stick around and have some food, have some beers, and just have a really great Saturday. Now Today, being Sunday, I was supposed to go to Greenville for the Riggs and Coffee Greenville in South Carolina. I have not been to that. I really do want to look forward to it, or I really do want to go and check it out. However, my butt woke up a little bit late this morning, so that did not happen. All right, now for a little bit more of an update. Unfortunately, I got a phone call this past week from Robbie at Motec letting me know that my Jeep was going to be delayed just a little bit longer. If you don't know, I have not had my JK since about, well, early March. I haven't wheeled it. I have sent it out there uh, to Motec for them to do a V8 engine conversion, I'm getting the LT1 uh, with a 10L80 transmission, and I am really, really, really looking forward to it. <laughs> After they did the very extensive uh, break-in process, driving it more than a thousand miles, they do a final inspection. On that final inspection, unfortunately, there was a transfer case leak that developed. Now, instead of just you know sending it back to me or you know patching up the the seal uh, on the output shaft for the transfer case, Robbie called me. He told me what was going on. He, they were replacing the transfer case fully so I don't have that kind of issue. I'm so thankful that they are doing this final inspection and doing all of the things so that I can immediately wheel it as soon as I get it back, which I am hoping will be later this week, potentially late this week, or uh, early on the following week. Now, if you watch my previous video, uh, just announcements and events, you will know that I'm supposed to go down to uh, Georgia to uh, run Beasley Knob with Brad, Jeep and Bubba, the Black Bear Off-Road Trail team, at least some of the guys, as well as a few vendors uh, or manufacturers. Now, I really wanted to go and do that. It's kind of a letdown that I won't have my Jeep. However, uh, I have reset my mind on this. I'd much rather it be done right, my Jeep be done right, uh, instead of, you know, going out there and hoping that it was right and be worried about something breaking or leaking or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the trail boss down there and I'm going to just ride along with uh, with Brad and some of the guys, uh, maybe do some interviews, so be looking forward to content from that particular event. And honestly, after that event, um, I'm just going to be looking forward to getting the Jeep back. And when I do, I will be sure to take you guys along for the ride uh, to kind of share that experience with you because good God, I'm looking forward to it. Um, so if you're, if you're really curious about that, make sure that you stay tuned to this channel uh, for, for that. It should be, in, like I said, in a week or two. 
And uh, yeah, I've even got some things in the works, possibly with some guys from Outlaw Off Road and some of their um, Hemi converted vehicles. Um, I know that they have a, um, a Hemi converted Gladiator, uh, but I'm looking to potentially race a 392 or a 4xE, um, which is awesome, by the way. That 470 foot pounds of torque in the 4xE is ridiculous. Uh, so that'll be really fun to to compare not only just in speed tests but also hill climbs and things of that nature so if you're into that kind of thing make sure you stick around if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you do that because i'm going to have a ton of that content coming up also i have a trail boss um, i've done some modifications to the trail boss if you are interested in that let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see what kind of modifications i've done how to do them and the plans for the future um, essentially, I'm making that trail boss into, I'm converting it into the overland rig. And my wife and I are planning on taking a week long East Coast kind of tour to go up to Pennsylvania, Salem, Massachusetts, uh, up into Vermont, and then back, uh, all taking that camping along the way. And uh, yeah, that should be a really great time. And that will be on this channel as well. Um, I think we're going to be doing that the second week in September. So there is a ton of content coming forward. And I really hope you stick around and, and check that out. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see. And once again, happy Father's Day to all of you dads out there. I really hope you're living life adventurously and I will see you on the trail.